Hello everybody, this is Nita Yaventachato. I'm with Six Signs. Uh, in this um, video tutorial I'm going to show you how to get uh, Rasuna 1.1.2 installed and running on Ubuntu. Uh, that's version 8.10 desktop version. So um, once you downloaded Rasuna um, down to your desktop as you see here, you should go into your terminal and I purposely do this now everything from the start so you can see how it is done. Uh, you don't have to change anything, don't log in as root, nothing. Uh, I have my usual user such and um, let's see, uh, let's go to the desktop and as you see here there's the Rasuna file so we just simply do an unzip comment it's quite fast and um, once it's here Okay, just wait for it. Okay, so here we go. We have the file and cd into it. Now, the structure is as such that we have an installation directory, a license, readme and a tomcat one. So, for purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to go straight ahead and want to run Resuna. So, what I do, I go into the tomcat folder, into the bin folder, do an ls and that's quite important because those files are all executables that means they have to have the executable permission. By default we cannot change this, so um, what we have to do is change mode to a plus x for all the files here. So when you do an ls again you will see that they have executable rights as they appear in green chars. So what you can do now is start up sh and it should have Java installed. If you see this message here, that means you don't have the environment variable set or you don't have Java installed. So let's see what my Java version is. Oops, as I see here, I don't even have Java installed. So this can be solved easily. We go into the system, administration, synaptic package manager. It's going to ask you for your password and once this is loading here you can go into the search up here and do a Java search. So there's all kind of, of versions showing up here but the one we're interested in is this one here, the Sun Java 6 bin 1. So click on it, mark for installation. It's going to ask you to, to, to install all the required packages as well, do an apply and off you go. So this will now download the Java packages and install Java for you. And I'm gonna cut it off here right now and we'll be back once this is installed. Alright, so we're back and uh, Java has been installed and as you can see here from the list it's installed and ready to go. So uh, another uh, prerequisite for uh, Rosuna is that you have image magic installed, that you have FFmpeg installed and EXIF tool. So uh, since we're in here right now we can go and search for image magic. As you see here, um, here's image magic. You can mark it for installation. Uh, the other one is FFmpeg. It's also right here. And the third one that you need is EXIF tool. Uh, it's also right here, so you can install them. Okay, but for now, you don't have to install them uh, just right now. If you want to do it now, you can go ahead, but um, to save you all some time, I'm going to close this now, and let's see if Java is installed now. All right, so as you see here, the latest Java version is installed, so that leaves us with only starting up the server, and if this is successful, you will see those lines here. So now you can go into Firefox browser and call up the installation wizard of Rosuna. So this is just a default Ubuntu installation. So we, I didn't change anything, so and um, might take a little bit longer here since this is running in my virtual machine environment. Okay. So what we can go here is localhost 8080 Rusuna admin. OK, 
Okay, so here we are. So you're gonna enter admin and admin as a username and password. Login, and it's gonna present you with some um, first time installation instructions. Okay, so for the, we're just gonna test it quickly if everything's working. These are the paths down here for the executables. Obviously, there there will be different, a little bit different on Ubuntu, but we can change them later. And okay, and here we go. We've first time set up and have it running. This will set up the database and log you into. Okay, so uh, we are now in the administration, it's locked us in and everything is working. So uh, if you haven't installed ImageMagic, set the path correctly for ImageMagic, um, FFmpeg and Nexif tool, it's going to warn you pro up here. So uh, we're going to do this next, go into the global, this is like the main steps that you have to do and those are the global settings for, for your digital asset management system. Go into the digital asset management. You have a lot of website, images, videos, and um, just here under images, you can you can set the path to uh, Image Magic correctly and to Exif tool. So if you haven't installed them, go to your system administration, Synaptic package manager, and install them as I showed you before. Okay, so I hope this helps you get uh, Resuno running under Ubuntu and um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.